Hi there brick builders. Today we not only have one set or maybe two. No, we got 13 of them and they are all together. We're talking about Chigao, the big castle including a coach. Sporting well over 2800 pieces. But first things first, the castle. We are talking about the QL1106, 731 parts, 3 figs, mini figs, a gardener, a dam and a cleaning lady, 2 cats with the wide of 40 studs and 23 studs in depth. As a special highlight we also got a slide here. The castle is open in the back so that you can play with it, you can use it as a dollhouse and therefore many of the other sets we are gonna see are placed inside this room, this 21 studs deep room inside this house. And that is what we are currently seeing, we do not only see the figures from this set but also from the other ones especially the ones that go inside. There is no such thing like interior in this one set, but there are the other sets who give us enough of these interior stuff. Speaking of the minifigs, Sigao uses different styles of figurines. Most of them look just like friends figurines from the outside or the general appearance. Some of them are looking like normal Lego minifigs. Some even look like Bao figurines. So there's not much that Sigao invented there for themselves. So let's have a look at the instructions, at least for example in this place, because the house is the biggest set of all of them. It's a typical Shigao instructions, only the current step is in color, everything else is grayed out. It's a stapled instructions, in this case other sets which are smaller just use folding sheets and this set has 44 steps and 32 pages. Opening the set was rather easy since in my case there is a lot of parts coming from China in a little brown box and most of the sets we are showing here came with this delivery. In the end for all the sets I got two deliveries so there is not much else to show than brown boxes. But in this case in the brown box there is a brick separator also just looking like the Lego one and there are some 16 by 16 plates as the ground. And of course there are stickers, there are not many prints but there are a lot of stickers. So let's have a look at the interior sets. The first of it is the QL1100-1, the kitchen. This one comes with a minifig in French style, the cook. Here we got our cook, he got a chest print, he got a print on the head and he got colored feet. I don't know if it's dual molded or it's just painted, I guess it's just painted. The kitchen itself does have a couple of cupboards, it got an oven, it got a sink, it got a mixer, it got several other stuff like cups, like a pen with a sticker inside of it, like some flask and some utilities to work with in the kitchen. So let's have a short look at the building of this kitchen. This time I did another attempt at the stop motion procedure, so you might be able to have a good look at the whole of this kitchen and the whole of the building process, including a little cook looking at this build. So let's move on to the QL1100-2, the bed. In this set we got another minifig, a princess, but we also got something to seat on and a bed. That is why this set is called the bed. 
On all of those things there are stickers, not so much on the dressing table which is lacking a mirror or maybe I forgot a sticker but I can't remember really. But that's not the biggest problem or a problem at all in this case since our princess got a hairbrush, she got a butterfly, she got a star and she got a jab stick, most important. What she also got is a printed chest, a printed skirt and not much else. Okay, she can wear a crown, that's what the holes in the hair are for, but she doesn't need to. But let's move on to the QL1100-3, the sofa. This time we got 65 pieces, also a figurine, this time the prince. He's also in other sets, but he is always the same. He just has a chest print and of course one at the head and that's it. In these 65 pieces there's something like a fireplace or an oven, a table with cups and mugs on it and of course the sofa which again is infested by stickers. Which is also true for the controls on the heater unit. On the other hand we got a little flame in there and we got our prints, again just a chase print. But let's have a closer look at him. He just wears something like that looks like shoes but in the end I'm not sure that it's really painted since the colors are that similar that this also might be a bit of a lighting situation here. So let's move on to the next set, the QL1100-4, the table. This set sports 67 pieces, we also got a minifig, this time it's a waiter with a plate and some beverage on there. Then there is the table, that's why the set is called the table. On the table there are two glasses and maybe a pot of flowers or maybe some kind of cake. We also got four stools or seating opportunities with them. We got a flower pot and we got a little car that again carries some flowers or maybe some cupcakes. That is not too clear. Again our little waiter does have a multicolored uniform but he also just got a chest print and a bit of a friend's figurine style which due to this rather limited style he only is able to hold his plate like this over his head. And again everything you see that is colored is a sticker including the stickers on the seats. But so much for all the sets that are situated inside the house or even may be situated inside the house. Now we get to some things that you wouldn't have in your living room. And this starts with the QL1101-1, the fountain. This fountain comes with exactly no minifix but with 108 parts. A lot of them are transparent, blue transparent round bricks to imitate water. So you sh just shove them in there and call it a day. The instructions in this case are just a folding piece of paper. You got your 14 steps to put the piece together. In the end it's not as hard as it might look like since the pieces are working rather well for this purpose.
and I can't deny it, I had another help with this set and with a lot of the others also, but it's okay since she's the one who has this castle now and she is the one who enjoys playing with it. But move on to the 1101-2, the bird's house. The bird's house gives us 124 pieces and another minifig, another friend style minifig, a guy who is I guess meant as a piano player and of course since it's a bird's house there is a bird and of course since it's a bird's house there is a bird's house and the bird is inside the bird's house as well as a lot of stickers. Our man does have a chest print and a face but that's it. He got a top hat and I guess that's not for wrestling but for playing the piano in this case. There's also a table with two shells in this set. On the table we got a big cake and some glasses for a champagne fountain I guess. Everything you see is again stickers. But on a positive note, they try to mix it up with the chairs. Every set has something different in this regard. Again, the instructions here are a folding paper and it's okay for these 124 pieces. So let's move on to the QL1101-3 sporting 105 pieces, the treehouse. Here we got another minifig, again prints, again in the friends style, again just with the chest print. And we got the tree house with a ladder, with another kind of chair, with a lot of fruits and decoration, a balcony, a squirrel and a lot of flowers. We also get another table with a cup and a can on it. And we also get another folding piece of paper as our instructions for this little set. So with a little bit of help again we will make short work of this little set. But wait, there is more. In this case, the QL1101-4, the picnic. The set is sporting 99 pieces and has another minifig. This case, it's another dame in blue and in friend style. This dame has another chest print, a print on her skirt and of course a face. And what she also has is a little dog. In addition, she got a blanket, something like an umbrella, a bowl with a croissant with some cherries, with a bit of ice, with a bottle and a cup. But there's more. For example, a little bench in a setting like a fairy tale with lots of flowers, mushrooms, a flower pot and something on top of this thing where she can relax for the day and read a good book since there's also a book carriage there. But 
But let's start moving to the next bigger set. That is the QL1104, the coach. Here we got 351 pieces and three minifigs. Again, a princess, again, a prince and a coach driver who is maybe needed to drive the coach. And of course, we got two horses evenly to pull the coach. What is not that clear in the usage is that there are also two cats on top of the coach. Nobody knows why. So the only new figurine is the coach driver, which maybe comes as a surprise, is not in the friend style, but more in the normal Lego style. He can move his hands. He also has a chest print and there is where the feature list ends. And again we got our prints. This is the friends like figurine in this case which we already saw. The coach itself does have four wheels. Again go figure. The wheels do turn well at least if you put off the horses but also with the horses in front. It's rather large in decoration. Again, there are the two cats on top, there are lights in the back and in the front, firing lights, also torches in the end. There are glasses in there, there is diamonds, there is flags and there is a ton of stickers again. And of course, the coach needs the horses and these horses are now not stickers, they are printed. But they are completely static, there is nothing to move on them as well as the cat. So the coach is by far the most fragile set in all these sets here and there is a lot of one stud work on here and there is a lot of fragile most decorative stuff on there and also in the plants inside. So here is where the bricks do shine or they don't. For everybody who doesn't know it Shegao uses or maybe is Kyunlong, so the same factor as we already know from the Blue Brick special sets and we already know that there is a bit of a varying quality in bricks and that is what is haunting this coach. So instead of going to all kinds of headaches with gravity driven bricks here i choose in the beginning to put some glue in there since i knew the set will be played with and i didn't want to put it together every five minutes as you can see the coach works really good in terms of the wheels these are turning quite easily even on this glass platen where the coach is currently running around. The horses of course don't move at all, so there is nothing to turn. The roof can be lifted to put some figurines inside. You really need to have children's hands to do that, since there is not much space in there, or you will have to have some tools to put the figurines in there. And of course, since this is again a one stud method here, from time to time you get your share of broken pieces. And if you see the yellow bricks there that do build the arches, especially this construction tends to just collapse when you put the roof back on. But continue to the castle's wall. This wall includes three sets. QL1102, sporting 268 pieces and two minifigs, which are soldiers. QL1103, which sport 273 pieces and another two soldiers as minifigs. And the middle part is the QL1105, sporting 482 pieces and does have different soldiers as the minifix. All those soldiers are sculpted after normal Lego figurines. All those pieces can put together on hinges and then feature adjustable angles in order to each other. So you can have a very 
wide wall and you can have a smaller one in a new shape. You'll find a lot of decoration on the outer parts of this wall and also some of it on the inside, inclusive the heaven's doors in gold. So let's talk about the minifix. In this set we get 2812 pieces with 13 sets and in a total of 18 figures, minifix. Most of them as seen are on the friends variety. Some of them are done after the normal Lego minifig style. We also have a fair share of cats, four of them, and horses, at least two of them in the coach. But to the minifix themselves, we got two princesses, we got two princes, we got a cook, we got a piano player, we got three or four dams, we got a cleaning lady, we got even a gardener and we got a coach driver and a lot of soldiers here. And last but not least we got a waiter. According to missing parts there are none. There were a lot of parts left over but there was one part that was wrong and this was an arm of the princess. So the blue one wasn't there, there was only a black one left over, so she now got a black arm. Since we are now right on our way to show how the bigger parts or the bigger sets are assembled in this case and this time I used a special technique to show you more than just one of these building processes at once, so maybe you're gonna stay tuned. But since this is the case now, just draw some conclusions. This is a cigar set. This is not done for adults, this is not done for a shelf, this is done to be played with. And in this case, these sets are almost ready to be played with. Some, like the coach, will need a bit of a sticky help there. And for the main building, it's maybe not that best idea to have something like a dollhouse in 21 studs death. But for the most part, it can be done. And the bricks are good enough to play with them. This being said, these are still Kumlon bricks and they're not famous for being the most clutch power heavy bricks on this planet. So you might have one or two fails and as I said there is a bit of a problem with the coach where those bricks are simply not good enough for some of the constructions. Maybe there are even stickers tacked over those portions to just fixate the bricks. As far as I am concerned, currently all those sets reside in the room of my daughter and she is playing on a daily basis with them without having too many casualties. On the longer run, I guess we'll move the whole of those sets to the city to have a nice wall or even castle around all those enjoyment parks stuff that is a bit naked there right now. Also, I got those sets directly from China, which might explain why the figurines or the minifigs are in there. And I did buy into a large package which all the 13 sets are included with. So I received at least two packages in the end and everything was in there. So as been said, this is mainly a playset. But of course, if you like one of those other smaller sets for your shelf or another display or inside your city, it's perfectly reasonable to put those sets in there or put those sets on those shelves. The only thing you have to keep up with is the purple investation in this set. Of course, it's done for young girls. For the parts, there is a slide, first of all. 
there is wheels, there is the heaven's doors, there's a lot of round pieces, big round pieces, there is a lot of columns, there are not so many plates in there, but there's a lot of stuff you can use for other things like mocks or other buildings in a medieval or castle-like style. And also for the one or the other the minifix might be interesting. There are, as I said, not this printed that much, but where they are printed, they are printed well. There are not like Lapin figurines where you could hardly make out the prints at all. So if you can use this set or the parts of the sets for something, you might be inclined to get them. But that's it for another video. If you liked what you've seen, please press the like button. If you didn't like what you have seen, please press the didn't like button. If you have your own experiences with Chegao or even with those sets, please comment that. And if you really want to have this type of video every week and maybe some others too, please subscribe. So have fun building. Have fun watching, have fun playing, and see you.